This video is brought to you by Walrus Audio in the Aegis 5 State Overdrive. The Aegis is a massively versatile overdrive machine ready for any amp and pickup combination. Check out the Aegis and their other soundscaping devices at walrusaudio.com. Hey everybody, this is Perry with Premier Guitar and this week I'm going to walk you through my 10 favorite rig rundowns. Number 10, Bad Religion. Man, what an honor it was to have the opportunity to interview one of my all-time favorite bands, but also just punk rock legends. And my favorite part of this particular rig rundown was the fact that Brian Baker is not only a fan of the rundown, but he says that he's learned some stuff from it. Pretty cool. All right, guys, here we are on the other side of the stage now with one of my absolute heroes, Brian Baker. Thank you so much for doing this, dude. Uh, my pleasure, my pleasure. This is uh, a main goal of mine, to be able to do a Premier Guitar Rig Rundown. I watch all of them, no shit. That rules, man. You uh, don't understand how stoked that makes me. Oh, no, dude, they're rad. It's so much fun. It um, is fun. I totally dig it. So. Man, I wish it had existed when I was a kid, because I've learned so much just having this job that I didn't know as a child. You know? I, I learned more from the uh, Angus and Stevie Young Rig Rundown in like that 40 minutes than I had in the previous 35 years Insane, of playing guitar. Uh, it's like, it's a great tool. Number so. nine, minus the bear. This one was a little bittersweet because we caught them on their farewell tour. Um, the very last tour that they played, and that band is just so incredible. But the thing that stuck out to me about this rig rundown in particular was Dave Knudsen's mastery of the DL4. He used multiple DL4s to almost create like uh, chopped and screwed effects, and you can totally check it out in the rundown. You're kind of an innovator with, with this sort of sound, you know? Yeah, I mean, you know, started off wanting to, you know, just like cut stuff up and sample it, you know, a la, you know, like Fortet or Caribou or some of those, you know, mid-2000 kind of um, EDM kind of sounds, so. You wanna chop and screw it up? Yeah, yeah you know, so, I mean, there's, uh, um, you know, a lot of times I like doing the, uh, This one was a blast for me because Corey and I have actually been friends for quite a while. We were neighbors. I actually directed his last video. So this was a super comfortable one. There weren't a lot of nerves involved. But Corey is just such an incredible talent, awesome player, and all around great guy. Number seven, Jason Isbell. Man, does this guy know his stuff. Um, we've actually had a, a couple of rig rundowns with Jason. In the first one, we were told by management that we'd only have like five minutes, but Jason was like, oh, hell no, we're gonna go through the whole rig. And he was so gracious and gave us like an hour and a half to walk through his gorgeous guitars, including the Red Eye. You should definitely check it out. All right, number six was Propagandi. If you couldn't tell from watching that rig rundown, I am a massive Propagandi fan. I've been a fan since I was a kid. Um, Chris and Sulin and everybody in their camp were just so awesome. Uh, I embarrassed myself a little, a little bit fanboying too hard, but I don't regret it at all, man. That was an opportunity of a lifetime. And number five was Thrice. This band has grown with me over the years. It seems like you know every time my musical tastes change, they seem to change right along with it. So it was really interesting to take a glimpse at what they used to create such dynamic and beautiful sounds. Number four was Failure. Ken Andrews is just a master, an incredible songwriter, great producer, awesome mixing engineer, but just the dorkiest of dorks. The guy actually really, really sold me on modeling amps and 
how powerful they can be. So I really appreciate that. And if you haven't had a chance to check out either of our failure rig rundowns, you should definitely do it. Number three was U2. Legendary right. band, how do you, and that's, legendary that's, that's, production. It was just unbelievable to see how much goes into one of their live shows. <laughs> no, and man, Tech Dallas Shu just knows his stuff. Fun. That dude is a pro. If you want to see how a real tech gets it done, you should definitely watch this rig rundown. Fun side note, Bollinger made us do yoga and go running with him every morning of that trip. Number two was Knocked Loose. If you know me, you know that I love giving hardcore some love, especially on the rig rundown. But this was a particularly great rundown. I learned a lot about stacking fuzz on top of already insanely distorted guitars. So that was fun, and the show was scary good. And number one, Power Trip. I'd been looking forward to that rig rundown for so long, because I got obsessed with Nightmare Logic when it came out. Such a sick record if you haven't heard it. But beyond that, Blake and Chris were just the nicest guys in the world. We got to hang out with the band for a while afterwards, and they put on an incredible show. Heart goes out to Riley and the whole Power Trip family, and the Iron Age family, and everyone in Texas Thrash. Rust in power, Riley.